What's up guys and welcome back. In this video, I wanna show you guys a set of LED light bulbs that Auxito have sent me. So uh, a big shout out to Auxito for sending me these light bulbs. They are H7 LED light bulbs with the color temp of 6,500K. The features of these bulbs are basically, they have high brightness, very easy to install, IP67, waterproof, and also a quick start. So it only takes a split second in order to start, 0.01 second and the lights will turn on straight away. Unlike HID bulbs where they take a little bit to warm up and actually reach their full brightness, LED bulbs are a little bit better because they turn on right away. These are LED lights, model number DDY13. This is the box here. And these are some of the specs on the back. I just wanted to do this quick honest review on these light bulbs off the very top very good packaging and the light bulbs themselves are of a very solid build this is the light bulb here very nicely designed uh, very simple aviation aluminium really puts a nice touch to it I like that it's uh, got that nice dark gray silvery color and the fact that it has a nice thick protective cable and then goes to one of these boxes which have you know the capacitors the resistors inside and it goes to the style of plug that you need in this case they are h7 because for the w204 you need h7 bulbs what you get is a pair of lights so you get two h7 bulbs i've already got one out here the instruction manual a card showing you a couple of tips and also set of o-rings for sealing them and some zip ties and that's it very simple very basic they do recommend that if for whatever reason when you install them you are still getting error messages or it tends to flicker they do strongly recommend it to get a set of error cancelling adapters if your lights do tend to run off canvas, just be aware that you may need a set of error cancelling resistors slash adapters. And they are very simple to use. They basically plug into the light bulb and then simply plug into your light adapter. A very simple adapter, depending on whether or not you get error messages or errors like light flickering or the lights just don't stay on. I did need a set for my older style. I wanted to compare them to this cheap style LED bulb which you can get for like uh, $10-$15. You can see that there is a massive difference in size. This does look very cheaply made compared to something like this and the first thing I can say straight off the bat is that having something very compact is going to be a big bonus. This is massive. Look at the size of that. It is huge compared to the um, Auxito one. And also, Auxito give you a longer cable in case you need that. The reason why this is massive is because they have installed everything into here with the fan, whereas Auxito have installed it into this little box here. That is a pro and a con in itself depending on how much room you have in your headlight. Because the W204 headlight has so much room, either of these go well. This is the one that I'm currently using, but now I'm going to switch to the Auxito ones and uh, let's see how good it looks. And we'll do a comparison of both. It is a little bit more difficult getting to it on the left side, but you know, with a little bit of patience, you will get there. I'm only going to be replacing the high beams and that's all I need to do in this case because I have HIDs. First things first, you get to the cap here, there is a horizontal clip. You simply rotate it counterclockwise and take it off. Once you remove that, you will see the bulb inside. I'm going to remove it just to show you how you would install it. So we unplug it. To remove them, simply wiggle it out. It doesn't have a clip or anything like that because it simply pushes in. I'm just simply going to wiggle out my LED bulb and voila, as you can see, it comes right out. Now, another bonus with LED bulbs is that they aren't so sensitive like HIDs. HIDs, you cannot touch the bulb in any way because it deteriorates the lifespan of the bulb. Now, we're going to install it. First, we're going to give the cheap ones a try and see how it works. I'll turn on the car now. They do not stay on. We're going to have to install the inline resistor. All you have to do now is simply positive goes to red, like so. 
and then you simply plug this into your light harness. Okay, there we go. A resistor installed. We will now turn it back on and see what it looks like. The minute I turn on the high beams, you can see that it now stays on because it does need the resistor in order to make it work. I wouldn't option for a resistor like this because this gets extremely hot and you don't want that because this will start melting any plastic that it touches. So I would option for a resistor that has a cap like this. That's it there. That is the brightness of the cheaper LED light. I mean, it does look okay. Nothing too bad at all. Now let's try the Auxito one out and let's see how good that looks. I'm going to try it first without the resistor and let's just see how it goes. We'll take this off. We'll take the resistor off and we'll plug the light bulb directly into it. Remember, we're not using the error cancelling resistors at the moment. We are plugging it directly in and let's just see how it looks. Whoa. I can tell you that this is definitely a little bit brighter, a lot lighter as well, a lot more compact. And the fact that it works without the resistor lets me know that inside this box here they must have already some sort of resistor or capacitor which allows it to constantly push 12 volts into it that's a really good bonus right there you actually won't need an adapter like this in order to make these headlights run props to auxito for being able to design a light bulb like this it is absolutely fantastic and um, i have to give them credit for that so now i'm going to install it and let's just see how bright it looks in the car as for installing it, all you really need to do is figure out how you want it to sit. So we know that it has to be installed vertical, where this LED bulb here is vertical. Whether or not you want the cable at the top or the bottom, that is totally up to you. Line this up and put it in how you want it. If you want it to sit this way, then you would need to turn this and put it in this way i'm going to have it on the bottom i want this bulb to sit as close to the headlight socket as possible if i were to put it in like this it would sit further so i'm going to flip it around and sit it in like this i'm going to twist it on until i get it all the way on and none of the red o-ring is protruding that's how I'm going to have it sitting. Now we're going to simply install it in. You simply plug it into the plug here. Now what you want to do is tuck it all in. We look for the spot that has the most room, which is towards the center of the headlight. And you simply just shove all this in. Now do it gently. As you're putting it in, you want to make sure that you have that tab lined up right at the top because that's where it's going to sit. And then you simply just push it right in. And that's it. Just like that. Push the plug and this box all the way in towards the center. Like that. And see how it's all tucked in nicely now? You can see that it's all pushed in. And that's how you would route your box. And it all fits nice and snug. And then you simply just put the cap back on. Line it up and turn it. See? So now if you have a look at the headlight, as you can see, it is lined up straight and that's how you want it to look just like that there's the older style headlight of mine as you can see it is still also lined up the right way that's how you need it to sit it just takes a little bit of patience and uh it can get done pretty easily okay guys so this is how we're going to access it on the right hand side first thing we're going to do is loosen this now we all know that there's a clip back here you push on it and then you lift it then you remove this here and you simply do that by lifting it and I'm going to disconnect it right here now don't be alarmed that's not going to break anything it actually does come apart right here now if yours doesn't come apart here then you just remove this by simply pressing on the tab here and removing it it's already given us a little bit more leeway in order to get to the headlight right here it's basically right in front of the windscreen wiper fluid in order to get to there what I'm going to do is simply lift this off its mount as you can see right here all i did was simply lift this off now be very gentle with this because you do not want to break it lift it out of the way just like that 
And that's it. That's all we need to do. And now we can simply get access to the headlight. Now that you have a little bit more access to it, you can basically do it very easily. As you can see right here, I have the plug harness in my hand. It's just here. You can barely see it, but it's right there. And I'm going to do the same thing where I turn it around and ensure that it is vertical and the tab is matching the top and the wire comes out the bottom because that's how I want it. We plug it in. See, my left hand's holding the plug. With my right hand, I simply plug it in. And that's it. As you can see right there, now to just maneuver it in and push it in. What I'm going to do is guide it in, but also look at the front of the headlight and see when it goes into the socket. And once I know I'm in the socket, estimate how it's supposed to sit by centering it. There we go, perfect. And that's it, done. We're going to grab the, the box of it and push it in towards the center of the headlight because that's where all the room is, remember? Get it all in. Before I close it, I'm going to turn on the car and check that it all works. See where that light's coming from right now? That's where your headlight goes into. We know the headlight works. I'll grab my cap now, put it back on. So much easier now to simply take the cap off and on. We'll put this back to where it was. So if you look here, that's where this was sitting on. We need to put this back onto the mount, like this. And that's it. There you go. Everything back the way it was and then replace this air vent here so we'll put it on here and tuck it back in and that's it high beams installed on the mercedes w204 so i've just started the car as you can see everything's running i'll turn the lights on there we go first things first flick on the high beam on off on off as you can see there's no error messages Okay, we'll leave the high beam on completely, we'll go for a drive. As you can see, there are no error messages. We'll even go to the messages, as you can see. No messages whatsoever. So I have to say that I'm very, very impressed with these light bulbs for direct plug and play for H7 uh, sockets. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the car running right now. The high beams are on, switching them on, off, flick around, and it's all good, you see? So yeah, there's no problems with these LED bulbs whatsoever. I am very impressed indeed. Very, very impressed. No error messages whatsoever. Very, very good. Before we finish off, I'm going to show you guys a couple of shots of what it looks like at night time because it is very sunny right now. So you're really not able to see how clear and crisp the cut is that the LED bulbs give. So you can see for yourself whether or not it has that nice clear crisp cut light beam and another big shout out to Auxedo for sending me these H7 LED bulbs to install into my W204 so my final thoughts on the Auxedo H7 LED bulbs is that they really are a great set of LED bulbs for any car they do make all these different bulb types so if you're interested in getting something like this for your car I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can get something like this. A big thank you once again to Auxedo for sending me these. Um, I really do appreciate it and for sponsoring this video by sending me this free set. There you have it guys. Installing the Auxedo H7 LED light bulbs in the Mercedes-Benz W204. I really hope you found this video helpful and if you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Until next time, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs. Signing off.